Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing an episode on King Suk Jung and yeah, I haven't done a Jason with Jane on a King for a pretty long time so I'm very excited to be back. So I'm going to start with some basic facts that a lot of people know but you know, a lot of people from not Korea would not know. So yeah, he was the 19th king of Joseon. He reigned from 1674 to 1720 and he was born October 7th, 1661, which was a super, super long time ago. And he died on July 12th when he was aged 58. His given name is Yi Sun. Yeah, I don't like the name Yi Sun, but you know, like the names back then were very interesting, so yeah. And a bonus fact would be he was actually the father of King Yongju, who I covered in a previous episode. So if you haven't watched it, you should definitely go and watch it because he also had a lot of drama during his time on the throne. But now that we covered the basic facts, let's just jump right into, you know, some of the deeper things that a lot of people might not know about King Sukjong. Alright, so, King Sukjong, 본격적으로 시작을 해보겠습니다, which basically means we're just like actually starting now. He was known for like a bunch of things, and not all of them were super great, but like a good thing he was known for was he was a really good politician. He was actually a wonderful politician, but he was. There was a lot of Hangul during his time on the throne. Hangul basically means like literally the turn of the state, which meant King Sukjong, when he was king, there were a lot of factual issues like with the western faction and the eastern faction and the northern faction they were fighting a lot so he tried you know to calm that down and give not too much power to all of them because it would disrupt the state so that was smart i'm pretty sure and yeah he was also known for a lot of like women problems because as you may or may not know he had three queens queen in young queen in hyun and queen in one yeah, plus Chang Yi Bin. Chang Yi Bin, a lot of people probably know, was Kim Suk Jung's first love, debatably, and she was. She was a character, yeah. And I'll actually be doing a series on King Suk Jung and like the love triangle, I wanna say, and like all of these dramas and these conflicts and all the stuff that happened with him and his queens and his consorts and his concubine because it's a whole different story there. And yeah, that I think is the end of today's video. That was super, super short. But there wasn't a lot of huge problems during his reign, but I will tell you if you want to learn more about it, then there are a lot of dramas about King Sukjong or that portray King Sukjong because there are a lot of stuff about Tang Yibin because she's probably one of the most infamous queens in Joseon history. So yeah, I would recommend Tongi, which is a drama I absolutely love and also Chang Wook Jung Live in Love. I haven't watched that one, but I heard it was very good. So thank you for watching. Bye!